Mario Andretti sat in that thing over 50 years ago. Amazing. It's history. The 1965 season was uh, obviously uh, a great opportunity for me. Finally reached the level of Indianapolis. And what was a bit precarious was going there and uh, the car being under construction. Finally, the car arrived Tuesday night of the second week. And I had one day uh, to get my driver's test in because uh, the Wednesday of the qualifying week, that was it. Before I arrived at Gundex Garage, I consulted with legendary IndyCar crew chief Jim McGee, who actually worked on the car, and Tom Brauner, whose cousin Clint built it in 1965. Well, in 65, you know, again, there was, there was no tub. Uh, you know, it wasn't carbon fiber. They actually made them. So this car w was actually called the Brauner Hawk because Clint Brauner built it, and they had a lot of success with it throughout the years. Jim McKee told me to look. He said, this car had beautiful welds. And I think he had said it had beautiful welds because he welded a lot of it. <laughs> but if you look at, at the way that it, it, it's built, chromoly tubing, and again, it's been modified throughout the years because, as you know, when I checked the history of it, it, it was passed through a couple of different yep. IndyCar owners, but then it went to be a, a super modified at Oswego, New York, with a guy named Fred Graves driving it. And I actually worked with his son, Andy, uh, on the original number 24 team. Pretty amazing how small the world is. But the, M McGee told me that these spuds and some changes were made, but the car itself is pretty original. This piece right here was the telltale piece. And the photos that they sent me, they took a lot of time fabricating that specifically. And it's in every shot of the car being built that Tom Brauner sent to me. You can see this piece clearly in there with those holes and whatnot in okay. it. And he built a special oil tank and things like that to, to go with it. So a lot of the pieces that you have are, are original pieces for the car. Now, did Clint Brauner, did he designed the car as well? So he just didn't build it, he was, the, he was the designer of it. This car was actually a copy of an English manufacturer's car. And at that time, the Indy guys made some changes. He kind of copied the chassis and they didn't want to call it by the manufacturer's name, they wanted to call it a, a Brauner right. Hawk. Clint Brauner was an amazing mechanic, you know, a tough guy, won just about everything. Huge, huge difference in Mario Andretti's career. As a matter of fact, he gave Mario's only Indy 500 win was in a car that Clint Brauner built in 1969. So as you know, this car here, Brauner built it. They debuted it at Indy in 65 with Mario, and Mario finished fourth in that race, but he also went on to use this car to win the 1965 USAC championship. 